Computer won't turn on. Six ways you should try to troubleshoot power issues. Number one, check the cable connection. You should check the computer cable connections first. To make sure there is no connection problem, you can remove and then reconnect all the cables correctly and tightly. Check your power supply if there is a switch on off button. Let's try turning the power on. It's still not working. Two, disconnect. All external devices, unplug all USB devices. Sometimes your Windows computer won't boot problem may be caused by the conflict with a USB device. You can disconnect all external devices and USB devices like mouse, keyboard, printer, digital camera, USB flash drive, external hard drive, game consoles, etc. So as to make sure that they are not to blame for preventing your PC from booting smoothly. Then restart your PC to see if it can turn on. Let's try turning the power on. It's still not working. Number three, cool down your computer. You need to make sure that the computer is cool enough. Then power on your computer and see if it can enter windows. If not, it means that the issue is not caused by overheating. If the windows not booting issue is caused by overheating, you can try the following methods to get rid of this issue permanently. Make sure you don't do any CPU or GPU overclocking. Remove dust from the fan. Replace the thermal paste. Number four, turn off the PSU and unplug the power cable from the PSU. Press and hold the power button for five to 10 seconds. Remove your desktop side panel cover. Manually turn on the computer without power button. When running into PC power button not working, you can try another way to turn on your computer via the motherboard. Remove your graphics card carefully. Find the power switch pins on the motherboard. Touch these pins together using a conducting tool when connecting the PC to the power. The motherboard can receive a signal to power on this PC and it can boot up. If your PC is turning on, it means that the issue is the wire coming from the motherboard to the power button. Or the power button is broken. You can shut down the PC by touching these pins together again. Number five, check your power supply unit. Power supply unit, PSU, is an important part of the computer that is responsible to convert the main AC to low voltage regulated DC electricity. If you meet the issue of power button not working PC, you can perform a test to see if the PSU goes wrong. Besides, you should check cables and connections from your PSU to make sure they are connected correctly.
Now, take your 20 or 24 pin connector and locate the green wire. There's only a single green wire, so it should be quite easy to find. Next to it should be a black wire. Take a paper clip or short wire and bend it into a U shape. Now insert one point of the short wire into the green wire slot and the other point into any black wire. Now set the connector onto the ground and with the PSU plugged into the wall, turn the switch on the PSU itself to the on position. If the fan turns on, it's likely that your PSU isn't the problem, but if you have a multimeter, you can check what the power output of the PSU just to make sure. Now, connect the cable correctly and tightly and try to power on again. Now your PC is working well. Number six, reinstall all part component. Electrostatic discharge, ESD, may occasionally occur while you clean the computer, damaging the specific components. As a result, the PC won't boot after cleaning. To fix it, you may need to reinstall all part component. There are some helpful tutorials available. Reinstall, RAM. Reinstall, CPU, reinstall, video card, reinstall, hard disk, reinstall, NVMe, SSD, remove CMOS motherboard battery. Press and hold the power button for five to 10 seconds. Now, install all component. Let's try turning the power on. I hope this video helps you how to troubleshoot computer won't turn on. If you have any questions, just type them in the comment section. If this helped you, click like, comment, and click subscribe. If your PC is still not working, take it to the nearest computer technician expert.